Hello, and this is Sunny. Welcome back. Today, my topic is the difference between 2.4 gigahertz band and 5 gigahertz band. 2.4 gigahertz band is the frequency range from 2.4 gigahertz to 2.4835 gigahertz. This band is used by AO2.11b, G, and N standards. The 2.4 gigahertz band is divided into 14 fixed frequency channels. Each channel is 20 megahertz wide. However, in North America, channel 12 and 13 are not legal. Channel 14 is beyond 2.4 gigahertz band, thus is not usable except in Japan. Therefore, in North America, only 11 channels are free to use. You may also notice that the gap between adjacent channels is 5 MHz wide. Thus, there's many overlaps among these 11 channels. For this reason, only 3 channels can be active at any one time. From this diagram, you can see that there are several groups of three non-overlapping channels, such as channels 1, 6, and 11, channels 2, 7, and 12, or channels 3, 8, and 13. But since channel 12 and channel 13 are not valid, therefore channels 1, 6, and 11 are normally chosen in practice in North America. You see, not a lot of channels are available for use. Besides, 2.4 GHz band is very crowded because this frequency range is also used for other devices such as cordless phone, baby monitors, microwave oven, Bluetooth, and so on, making the 2.4 GHz band more susceptible to interference. 5 GHz band is used by AO2.11a, N, and AC standards. 5 GHz band is divided into UNII-1, UNII-2, UNII-2 extended, UNII-3, and ISM. UAII stands for the Unlicensed National Information Infrastructure. ISM stands for the Industrial, Scientific, and Medical. They are simply labels, specifications, regulations for a different parts of bands. For example, UNII. Dash one band is designed mainly for indoor Wi-Fi network. These labels are not our focus in today's lesson. Five gigahertz band consists of twenty-four unlicensed bands, each twenty megahertz wide. There is no overlapping among twenty-four channels. Thus, the five gigahertz band is much less congested and you will likely get more stable connections with a high transfer data rate. In theory, 5 GHz Wi-Fi will support up to 1 gigabits per second, or even more. In order to increase the bandwidth, starting from AO211N standards, channel bonding is a common practice where two adjacent channels are combined into one wider channel such as two 20 MHz wide channels combined into one 40 MHz channel. In AO211AC standards, two 40 MHz channels are combined into one 80 MHz channel. Even two 80 MHz channels are combined into one 160 MHz wide channel. In summary, 5 GHz band provides faster data transfer rates with more channels, is less congested. 
The latest Wi-Fi standards use 5 gigahertz band for these reasons. But 2.4 gigahertz has advantages too. Given that energy is the same, lower frequency 2.4 gigahertz band would have a lower attenuation, thus lower frequency signals would travel a longer distance. I hope this video is helpful. Thank you very much and see you next time. Oh, don't forget to subscribe.